Well, good afternoon, everyone. We are back up with the bus on a Sunday, um, early in January. Did a little bit more back cap uh, work, although I'm certainly getting sick of editing back cap videos, or rear cap, as, as I've been calling it. I assume that you're a little sick of watching them. In fact, I know that at least one of these things is going to be uh, stupid long, I believe is the proper phrase. But I will check in on it, and then I'm going to do something else today. What I did do is I adhered this panel in place. This is the one panel I didn't finish up last week because I thought it might be slightly the wrong size. And it turns out that I was right, but in the wrong way. Um, I thought that this panel was too tall, uh, but I noticed that they really do change size quite a bit as you, um, they, they change size quite a bit as, as you fasten them into place, um, which is what makes sheet metal tricky and what makes me not love doing it, at least not love doing compli complicated shapes, and these aren't even really that complicated. Anywho, uh, it turns out that while I was correct that this is the wrong size, it's not too big. It's too small. When I started fitting that today, I couldn't even fit the uh, panel in that hole. It was too big to fit in the hole. But as I sucked it down here, it changed size up there quite a bit. So I have to decide if I'm going to pull that whole panel out or come up with an elegant solution for patching it. Um, but I'm not doing anything until that Sikaflex is dry, because OMG. I'd rather cut the Sikaflex than spend the rest of my life getting it off of my body. Um, so then what are we going to actually do for a video? Well, we never actually fixed the fuel sender. So I think that today should be a nice, quiet, simple day while I figure out how to, <laughs> nice, quiet, simple, short video while I figure out how to send this, uh, how, to, how to get this fuel sender replaced. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If in the future anybody ever, anybody who writes directions is ever watching this video, please don't use a tiny little hash mark for foot versus inch. I'm pretty sure that's his foot pounds. But I really can't tell. <laughs> Note, push on fasteners move in one direction only. Do not overslide. I love that the instructions are basically don't screw up. Okie dokie. Well, I've got the basic overview. So one of the first things I'm noticing here is that hey, it's been licking. So this looks like the exact same sending unit. <laughs> so this may not be the first time that this that Beatrix has gotten a new sending unit. Heck, it might not even be the last. Also, if I remember correctly, we had figured out that the sending unit, <laughs> or we figured out that uh, we lost part of the sending unit in there. So we can see if we find that while we're messing around. All right, do I have the right size here? Oh, I'm not a huge fan of the, 11 in one, of the client 11 in one screwdriver. It's always the wrong size, but there are a lot of options there. So I want that one. There we go. It's almost always the wrong size. 
It's not always the wrong size. So part of the reason that I wanted to do this today so I'm starting to get a little nervous about how much fuel is in this thing. I'm running it every week. And at some point it's going to run out. And that would be bad. That said, I don't think I'm in, any, I'm in imminent danger. Let's see, it came out this way. Looks like the fuel gauge was, anyone, anyone, let's just check this. Looks like it was at an angle that way. Oh shit, lost the square already. How do I make sure that I don't forget which one's which, huh? I had stuck this through there, just so I didn't forget it. Hopefully that doesn't burn me later. So that tells me that it was diagonally off in that direction for the rear step. Okay. One thinks I could probably just measure this and find out how heavy it's supposed to, how deep it's supposed to be. But we'll go by the books. So, stink rag, and let's see here. Now you, wise consumer of YouTuber, may be wondering, why on earth I'm bothering to do this? I could just assume that these are the same units and measure the other one. And that's a reasonable assumption. In fact, it's one that I would have normally made. Except that I'm not a thousand percent sure that these are the same units, so I should follow the instructions on the new one. And also, I'd like to know how big or how deep the inside of that tank actually is. So I get an idea of how much fuel this thing holds. I'm guessing it's about 50 gallons. I could be wrong though. Alright, let's see here. That's clear. Ooh, keeps going. Oh, there we go. So right about there. Nope, come here. Right, so it is. 21 and 7 eighths from the bottom inside to the top on the outside. This is what they said to measure. And currently there is about 14 and a half inches of fuel in there. So 21 and 7 eighths and 14 and a half inches. One stinky tape measure. All right, so we're carefully popping back out here. Oof. So we are 21 7 eighths divided by two. Plus half an inch. So that should be ten and a half plus three eighths. So wait a minute, I'm screwing that up. I'm just gonna do the math. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a calculator. So ten and fifteen sixteenths. So eleven. Now how to cut this thing? Here's the next question. I cut it. Right? It doesn't matter. It's just sticking into the tank. Here's that where it's going off the bottom. 
Why should I cut that? Because this won't fit on otherwise. No, that must be okay. There's stuff in there. All right, I've measured it. It's not going to hurt anything to have it coming off lower. Right, quarter inch. That's not going to hurt anything. As long as it'll make the corner, it might not make the corner. That's why they had you cut it, so they can make the corner. Well, golly. So the reason that I'm thinking about this, by the way, is that down the, see, so yeah, so this probably won't make it through the hole. That's why that, why you have to cut it, because it has to slide in and hook. Drat. Um, the reason I'm thinking about this is that I actually want to uh, use this same penetration right here to eventually install a diesel heater without having to get crazy. Um, Cause I figure I can just drill this, put a fitting in and slide this down along the same side. But if I tape it to the back here, and whoop, go around like that. I could want that longer, but I'm not gonna bother. So I just have to cut this. Which means I need to get any of the billion cutting tools that I have in a place where they'll work. So I've decided to use the Dremel cutter mahuzits today. No particularly strong reason. This part of me doesn't want to gall up my uh, grinding wheels with aluminum, which I believe that is. Part of me feels like this will give it a finer cut. Part of me is reacting to the fact that this is closest to the back of the truck. Okie dokie. So we just sat down. This next thing, I'm going to do this a little ways away from my point of making mistakes. Ooh. New screwy bits. That will be nice. The old screwy bits were wrong. Or weird. One of them was an actual screw. Again, definitely not the first person to work on that tank. We're gonna find two matching oddballs. Here we go. That looks like they're not matching though. Let's see, two, that's three, four, and five. Don't look, this is the lock. Okay, that's the ring for the top. They do give you, it turns out, a spare pushy uppy downy thing. So if you completely screw up, you can break those off and start over. So I guess it's not quite as bad of a don't screw up as I thought. Well, I'm stepping over here and not dropping anything into the tank. Very carefully. And it's fine. The actual driver of screws. This is upside down. Reach that wire wants to come out the bottom, so reach that wire comes out the top. I don't hear them called rheostats that often. Is it a rheostat or is it a potentiometer? What is that, actually? I was actually watching a kind of fun little thing about rheostats that I'm not going to try to relate to you because I will get it wrong. I should just cut this part out. Maybe I'll add it in there, I don't know. Okay. That is more like 5 sixteenths. Nothing else on this bus is all that exact. I don't know why this should have to be. Determine proper float arm length by locating each measure tank depth in table one. Mark a new dimension on the float arm. All right, so apparently we're measuring to the outside of the float arm. Maybe. So 21 inches, actually 21, 22 inches, which is the next highest one. Tank depth, float arm depth is 15 inches. It's really close to what it is. But fine. 
They specifically caution you not to bend this thing. I'll also say that, boy, this is not small. Not easy to do. What they're really saying here is that you want to be 15 sixteenths of slack at the end. So 15 in, 5 sixteenths. I keep saying 15 sixteenths. That's a totally different number. So I'm about 3 sixteenths. I gotta go every eighth of an inch up. I need some linesman cutters. I suppose I have diagonal cutters that would have worked too, but you know. So the float arm depth, or float arm length, of 15 inches comes to right about there. Again, I don't think that this is actually as exact of a thing as they're making it out to be. I mean, come on. I've never had I've never had a, a particularly exact um, fuel tank in my life, so how crazy can it be? Next up, does this thing work? Shocker doesn't line up quite right, so I am going to just take this off. I gotta figure out. Huh. Interesting. There is a difference. This one has a place for the spade flow, spade lug. This one has a ring connector. Hmm. This maybe used to be a spade connector? I can't even tell. I need to figure out how to line these things up. I honestly don't think it's going to matter in this tank because this tank is huge. But I have 180 degrees out of alignment on these things, so I need to loosen this thing up. This should now spin gently. Gently? Gently? Alright. Yeah, it's been saying 180 degrees. But the rheostat goes in that direction. This is a totally different thing too, because they had the reset going at the top, so. 180 degrees. Ooh, maybe not. Is it up a little more? Is that to it? Is it like a lift and turn thing? It is, okay. Gently hold it in place now. So these are going in the same direction. Yeah, that's pretty similar. So, now we tighten this down. So now we go hopefully in. Okay. I'm an idiot. I forgot the gasket. Do this all the time, man. All right. But at least now it's messy. Right. Now at this point, I have the four bolts I can actually access connected. I don't love the fact that I can't get to that fifth one, but I don't want to mess with this quite yet. I don't know what this piece right there is. I mean, it's probably one of the senders or something. I don't know. But I'm not loving that. All right. Now I can't get that to go in the normal way, but perchance if I can find 
the inserts from this. Oh, I've lost my screwdriver thingies. I'll come back for that in a second. All right, and this. Okay. Well, I left the screw in there so that I know that this was the one that had been done with a screw before. So I can also know that that is, in fact, the one that goes on the terminal like that. Oh, it's in a ring terminal. And I can do the same trick as they did last time, so that won't be a problem. Screw this on for now. Back this one out again, I guess. Alrighty here. So here's the question. Let's see. I will let you see it as I see it. If you can't see it, there we go. Fuel gauge time. All the way up. And all the way down. And just over half a tank. <sighs> which is about right because we had said is about two-thirds full we had about 14 inches out of 21 not bad all right so we are at least we are at least getting a signal down that is a great start I, of course, will not fully trust this for a while. Plus, I would like to get that last screw in a little better. But Okay, so I grabbed a piece of uh, tape, and I have lined it up. Hopefully, that looks the same to you as it does to my eye. I have lined it up on the needle. So, I'm going to throw some more fuel in there and see if that, literally, if that moves the needle. So on the off chance that I grab the wrong can Mark Diesel, um, I'm not gonna start the bus right now because that'll still give me because I could always drain the tank if I had to. Don't want to. Um, but but just to make sure, I'm not gonna start the bus. But what I am gonna do is just check the needle and see if it ends up in the right place because that won't hurt the engine at all. Even if it's the wrong stuff. So let's see. Oh the whip. Oh the way back down and. Didn't really move the needle at all. That's concerning. That's something we're gonna have to think about. Well, it could be that it's jammed in there. Or it could be that there's a different problem. I don't actually know the answer. What I do know is that that is a next week problem. So, until then, if you feel like liking, great. If you feel like subscribing, awesome. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, anything really at all, love to hear from you down in the comments. Have a great week.